Attention, a prince wants to send you $4 million. All he needs is your bank account info. We've all seen scammy emails like that, but recently someone looking for a quick buck took a more refined approach. A Better Business Bureau staffer was recently targeted by a so-called spear phishing attack. If it worked, I wouldn't get a paycheck by the next payday. I'm not a big fan of that. This is Troy Baker, the BBB's VP of Community Relations. Last week, his vice president of operations received an email from someone trying to swipe his paycheck. There was no risk that we were falling for it, but it was funny that it was impersonating me, the guy who spends his time out in the community warning people about scams. He was targeted by what's called a spear phishing attack. Spear phishing takes information that the scammers have about an individual and tries to target them using that information directly. So this isn't sending out 75 emails and hoping you get somebody. This is sending one email. In this scenario, the would-be scammers sent an email to the BBB's VP of operations reading, Good morning. I want my new bank to be operational for the forthcoming payroll. Let me know what you need to make the change. Warm regards, Troy Baker. They use words that I don't know that I ever use, and I never end my emails with warm regards. Uh, so it was pretty obvious it wasn't from me. Obvious to someone who has worked with Troy for years, but they were lucky. They may not have got money from me, but they are getting money from other people. So here are some things to carefully consider the next time an email just doesn't feel right. Look at the email address and not just the name that's attached to it, but the actual email address at whatever it is and make sure that matches where it should be coming from. Look for misspellings or errors in syntax. If there are links within that email, hover your cursor over top of that link down to the bottom corner of your browser, a little pop-up comes up and shows you where that website's going to take you. Never click on a suspicious link trying to take you somewhere it shouldn't be. Just another way for scammers to steal your personal information. That's why it's so important for businesses to be on top of this and to train their employees that work in these areas that there are steps that you need to take before you change somebody's payroll, before you change an account, before you send money to an account that you haven't sent to before,